Do you know who Sierra Nevada Brewing Company is? So we are here in the Redwoods. The proof you need when you want to slap your husband. <laughs> Well, we have finally made it to the coast in California. We're currently in Northwest California, and as you see, we're in the Redwood National Forest. <laughs> we're gonna take you guys through our dogs seeing the ocean for the first time. Yes. <laughs> and the beach. We're finally gonna get some sunshine, but it's actually nice and cool here. It's only like 55, 60 during the day, so that's a big change. Yes, we had to get out our winter clothes again. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't really prepared for that. <laughs> no. But it's very nice outside, and we're going to show you guys all around and see what Northwest California has to offer. Do you know who Sierra Nevada Brewing Company is? If so, then you guys know why we're excited. If not, hopefully we're going to show you guys why we're excited, because we are about to take a tour of their facility. So we are very excited to see this tour. I booked it online this morning. It was the last spot left that we got. Um, we have to show up 15 minutes early and to check in and get our spots. Yeah, so we're going to take this tour and we're actually going to try our best to take you guys along with us. Mm -hmm. So, be very quiet because we're going to sneak you guys in. <laughs> Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down? Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets? Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Every day I got your back, yeah, you can count on me for that So put your hand in mine, I will be
So tell me, how many boats do you count? Leave in the comments below how many boats you count, and I'll tell you how many we counted. Maybe we'll have to send whoever is closest a prize. Comments below.
Hello. So we are here in the Redwoods. We made it. Um, we stopped at the visitor center first thing this morning, got a map, a lot of good information. Definitely a good idea to stop there first and get some good hiking trails. And so she laid out several <laughs> for us to do, highlighted. And we're going to start with Lady Bird Johnson Grove, first hike of the day. So you can see behind us, check out this redwood right here. Yep, that's just in the parking lot. So, I'm going to take you guys to show you some of the tallest trees in the world. See how they compare to the sequoias. Oh yeah. By the way, if you haven't watched our sequoia video, you need to go check out our sequoia video. Those are some big trees. Because those were very big trees. <laughs> so let's go check them out. You guys leave in the comments below if you know what kind of flowers these are. Pretty pink flowers. Everywhere. Everywhere. So what do you think of this hike so far? I think it's pretty amazing. Actually, it's a fairly easy hike. It's a wide open trail, it's gravel. So pretty much anybody can do it. But um, if you guys haven't come to the Redwoods, you need to come check it out. They are crazy tall. I'm talking about way up there. You can't even see the tops from standing at, a, at the bottom. And so this has been pretty amazing. So when you guys get here, at the very beginning, there's actually a trail map of the Lady Bird Johnson Grove, and you can stop and pick it up. I think it's a dollar if you want to keep it, maybe just put it back. We're going to probably put ours back. But at each individual spot as you guys walk through here, there are actually numbers. So inside the map, you can go and you can read about those individual numbers whenever you guys get there. It's really amazing, actually, and this is an amazing place to come hike. We definitely suggest you guys do this trail and we'll actually share some of that information with you guys now. Colonial seafarers and early American adventurers cursed the omnipresent rain and fog in Northern California, a discomfort to some perhaps, but the mild wet climate of the North Coast ensures the survival of the redwood forests. Wet winters soak the region under 60 to 70 inches of rain. Summer produces little rain, but temperatures rarely exceed 80 degrees. Summertime fogs increase humidity and reduce the amount of water a tree loses through evaporation, softening the effects of drier periods. The small, tightly spaced redwood leaves intercept the moisture suspended in the fog. While some moisture absorbs directly into the leaves, 
The majority collects on the grooved surface of the leaf and drips to the ground. Water collected from fog may account for up to one-third of the total water in the redwood forest system. Forest from ferns. Many years ago, fire swept through this corner of the forest, opening large areas under the canopy to colonization by small yet beneficial plants. Ferns, like the dominant sword fern, thrive in the all-pervading damp of the redwood understory. Along with mosses and grasses, they are usually the first to return to a disturbed landscape. The dense cover of ferns on this forest floor provides shade and protection for smaller plants and holds moisture in the soil. The life and death of ferns and the plants nurtured under their broad leaves enrich the soil, creating fertile ground for the wildflowers and low shrubs that will ultimately sustain the roots of the Douglas fir, western hemlock, and the mighty redwood. Ferns are the first stage in a thousand year succession of plants reaching its climax in a healthy old growth redwood forest ecosystem. Sympovirens, the scientific species name for the coast redwoods, means everlasting. Coast redwoods live longer than almost any plants on our planet. The largest trees found their first rays of sunlight when Aztecs and Mayans ruled Central America and Marco Polo traversed the Asian continent. While most redwoods here are between 600 and 800 years old, some redwoods may survive for two millennia. Though its tiny one-inch cones produce thousands of seeds, redwood seedlings rarely survive to maturity. Throughout the forest, tight clusters of trees, like those before you, illustrate a more successful method of redwood genesis. Massive clusters of bud material and swollen bumpy knobs, called root collar burls, lie dormant beneath the soft red-gray bark. Burls may remain inactive for generations, but when a tree is stressed by low rainfall or intense fire, the sleeping sprouts wake. The redwoods' longevity through the ages is assured. The proof you need when you want to slap your husband. <laughs> A mosquito was on his <laughs> neck, so I slapped him, and luckily, <laughs> have the mosquitoes proof as to why I slapped him. <laughs> Sorry, Annie. Yeah. <laughs> Little trail guide. Good morning everybody so as you guys have seen this is something really special we are staying at the elk country rv park here just north of trinidad california and these elk behind me here are actually wild elk um, they come into this park very regularly we've seen them almost every morning not in this sp um, this spot but we have seen them around the park pretty much every morning and so um, this is pretty amazing to be able to just see wild elk and hang out, relax. Um, obviously it doesn't look like they're too afraid of people, 
they are wild um, but they are all still herded up so we're here in June and as you can see a lot of the babies are still very small being able to see a baby feed is something very special um, that's not something you would normally get to see uh, unless you're in a place like this so obviously all the babies are still really small got a lot of growing to do um, it's very hard to, to tell and make out but there are some bulls in the herd as well they're just now starting to get their antlers back so bulls shed their antlers every year and grow new ones back and so the bulls are still here with the herd and um, getting closer to probably August um, late August definitely um, a lot of these bulls will start to spread out and go their own way and that's right before the rut starts to happen the breeding season starts to happen so a lot of them will leave um, or be ran off by bigger bulls uh, during that time but um, this is something that's absolutely amazing uh, hopefully you guys have your coffee like I do and just taking in this beautiful morning and watching these beautiful animals so let's continue to enjoy <laughs> 